Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Prav Jambulkar. In this video, we will see how to use add API decorator in LWC or Lighting Web Component. In last video, we have seen in LWC, there are three decorators, right? Add API, add track, add wire. What are their use? That also we have seen in previous video. So basically, decorators are used to add functionality to a property or function, right? In this video, we will see example for add API decorator. What is the use of add API decorator? So see, it is used to expose a variable or functions publicly and make properties reactive. So see, to make any variable public, we can use add API decorator. So when we are not using this decorator, that property or function will be local. Local in the sense, we can use that property or function within that component only. If we want to use that property or function outside the component, then we have to make it public. And for that, to make that property or function public, we have to use decorator at API. What is the syntax? So see, at API, any property or function, right? And here I'm initializing this property with hello para. So it has very simple syntax. Before any property or function, it should be preceded with at API decorator. Now we will see one example for add API decorator. So see, I open VS code. Now see, already I have created this project LWC project 2 in force dash app. Here we have LWC. Here we will create one component. So see, create lightning web component. We will give some name API child component. We will save it in default directory. Okay. So see by this, this component is created and we have these three files, right? HTML, JS and JS-meta.xml. We will add one more component. So see, in LWC, create lightning web component. We will give name API parent component. API parent component. Enter. We will give default directory. Okay, so by this, these three files are added, right? HTML, JS, JS dash meta dot XML, right? Okay, now see in child component. So see in HTML file, what we will do here, we will add lightning card. Okay, here we will give one message in H1 tag. This is child component, something like this. Okay, dot js file we will keep as it is later on we will change it and in meta.xml file here we will make it true and here we will add targets target lightning underscore app page target lightning underscore double underscore home page like this right so see uh, this thing i am copying and same thing we will put in parent component so see this is our parent component and in meta.xml file here we will paste it like this and in parent component in html file here lightning dash card in h1 tag we will put one message this is parent component something like this right okay now see we will deploy child component and also we will deploy parent component okay got deployed now parent component we will deploy okay right click on this deploy source to org Okay, so we have deployed child component and we have deployed parent component, right? Up till now, we have not used API decorator. Later on, I will tell what is the use of API decorator. Okay, so see what we will do. So here I have logged in in Salesforce developer org. We will go to one app. So see, I have clicked on app launcher. Here we will type sales app. Okay. Here we will click on gear icon. 
we will click on edit page lightning app builder page got opened okay we will drag and drop api child component and api parent component so that also we will drag and drop okay we will save it okay click on back button so here you can see this is child component and this is parent component right so this is child component and parent component now see what we will do we will show this child component in parent component so see we will embed this child component within this parent component so see what we will do in parent component so see this is html file right okay now see what we will do here we will add child component so for that we have to use kebab case so see what do you mean kebab case in kebab case respective phrase will be transferred to all lower case with hyphen separating word what is the meaning of this so see for example we have this word header label so see there are two words right one is header another is label so how we will come to know another word is label so see this word label has started from the capital letter l right now see when we have to write this word in kebab case so it will be written like this header hyphen a dash label right header hyphen label right so there are two words and those two words will be separated by hyphen right okay now see in parent component in html file we want to access child component right so see for that we have to use kebab case and how it is written so see c dash and what was the name api child component right so see it should be preceded with c hyphen after that api that was one word second child and everything should be in a small letter so see hyphen component like this right c dash api dash child dash component right so by this we can embed child component into parent component so see what we have done in html file of parent component we have embedded child component by this syntax and for that we have used kebab case all words should be separated by hyphen and everything should be in a small letter okay now see what we will do again we will deploy parent component okay now see so we will refresh this so see to refresh what we will do we will press control f5 so here you can see this is child component and this child component we have embedded in parent component right this child component we have embedded in parent component now see in child component i will create one property so see in child component in javascript file we will add one property something like this so see suppose header label and here in single quote i am writing hello parag something like this right now see when we are not using at api decorator so this property will be local this property will be local what is the meaning of this this property can be accessed within this component only right now see i am saving it and in html here i will write so see div and we will access this message so see header label right okay so that i have written here okay now see we will deploy this child component okay so again we will press control f5 so here you can see see this is child component so we got this message this is child component hello parag what was the value that was assigned to header label so it is printed here now see in parent component we got this message this is parent component this is child component and here also we got message hello parag right because see this part has come from the child component because we have embedded child component in parent component right okay now see suppose this property i want to change in parent component so then we have to access this property in another component see what i am telling hello parag 
this is the value given to the header label property header label is a property which is defined in this component right now see suppose i want to change that value in this parent component right so from this component i want to change value of header label right property which is defined in this child component so for that what we have to do we have to define that property as a public property and then only we can access this property in another component so see we want to change header label property we want to change property which is local to this so for that we will use atypy decorator and by that we will make header label as a public property and we will change that value in parent component so see what we will do in child component in javascript file before this header label so see here we will write add api right so now we have made this header label property as a public property and as we have added add api decorator here so that we have to import from the lwc module so see here comma api right so see we have to import api from the lwc module and here we have to use it okay so i am saving here okay now see what we will do we will change this value from the parent component we have defined in child component right we will change it value from the parent component and we will display there right okay now see so in parent component in html file here we will change value so see header label is equal to and see header label in child component it has value hello para right now see this header label value i want to change now see again for this we have to use kebab case so see how we can use it so see there are two words right header and label how we will come to know label is another word because it has started from the capital letter l right so see here we will put dash or hyphen and we will change this capital l to small l right okay now see here we will add some value suppose here i am adding hello sonia something like this right so see in child component there was hello parag and here i am adding hello sonia right so see i am saving it so see what we will do we have updated both child component and parent component right so both we will deploy so see child component we will deploy it okay so parent component that also we will deploy okay so we have deployed both child component and parent component okay now see so we will refresh it by control f5 so here you can see hello para this was the value given to header level property of this child component right now see in parent component we have changed that value we have made hello sonia right we have changed that value right so header label property from the child component we have accessed in parent component and we have changed its value right and how it was possible it was possible by using at api decorator header label property previously it was local to this component so by using at api decorator we have made it public right and by making it public we have changed its value in parent component and that updated value here we have displayed so this is the use of add api decorator we can make any property or function public public means that can be accessible from the other component so in this video we have seen how to use add api decorator and for that we have seen one example in next video we will see how to use add track decorator so friends i hope you like this video if as you click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you